What's up, Cloud residents? Dr. Cloud here. Welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Omega Red Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, uh, I got pretty much destroyed by a very pretty looking Primarina. And um, it basically caused me to have to redo my entire team. So that was a lot of fun. So I'm going to do a team recap. All right, so we got a classic right here. We got Charlie, the Incineroar, Intimidate with Flare Blitz, Crunch, Sky Cut, and Swagger. Sorry. Then we got Felix, level 55. Everyone's level 55, just so you know, we're just gonna say that right now. With Signal Beam, Thunder Wave, Discharge, and Power Gym. I 100% thought I forgot Discharge and learned Signal Beam, then that would've been awful. Uh, I do want to switch it though. And then we got our Lolan Nine Tails without a nickname because we got it given to us with a uh, natural cure, Aurora Beam Hex Extra Sensory and Confuse Ray. Then we got our Venusaur Venusaur, another Static Mon that was given to us, so I don't have it nicknamed, with Chlorophyll with Double Edge Torm Floral, which I, I have no idea what that is. You just learned that at some random point, and its description is like Giga Drain. So like, I don't really know what it actually is because that's not actually what it does. It's just like a 90 power physical grass type move and I have no idea what it actually does. Um, anyways, it also has energy ball and synthesis. We got Valentine, the Koomo, I think it's Komo. Ko yeah, Komo, with Intimidate, with Dragon Claw, Sky Uppercut, Rock Slide, and Screech. For some reason I thought the attack would be better, but whatever. Then we have our Manaphy Charmed with Scald, Acid Armor, Energy Ball, and Supersonic with the Water Absorb ability. So yeah, the team's changed quite a bit. Um, you may notice even though uh, the Breloom did not uh, die, I still went ahead and switched him out. And it's just because I needed more bulk on the team. So I replaced him with Venusaur. And I think I should be fine with it. Um, I forget if I looked at TMs. It's been a second since I've played, so bear with me. I actually don't remember the last time I played. Um, another thing I want to go ahead and say is... Um, you may have noticed that um, Monday's episode actually went up on Tuesday. Uh, and that is because it... This, I got this. This series is actually taking a schedule shift, and... It will now be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the reason for that is that um, I am doing like a workaround schedule for other people, and uh, it will allow me to essentially have um, uploads every single day. With I at least will have a video going up every single day with me in it. I am struggling super hard. I'm sorry. I'm just very tired. I just got out of the shower to try to wake up, and it did, it didn't really work. But I'm here. I'm I'm gonna fight the gym today because I literally have nothing else to do. Um, I feel like Nine Tails is probably gonna be good for this. Has extra. I'm gonna need a cut on. Do I even have cut? No, I had to get cut. I got it from the uh, captain. I didn't, I didn't think about this as an issue, because, like, that's a problem with games like this, where you can't... My brain's dying. Um, you can't... Oh, I actually learned that they evolved uh, Poliwhirl from that guy. He's like, I got my Poliwrath from a um, Water Stone. Okay, um, pretty sure Diglett can learn Cut. Maybe I'll see if you can. No, you can't. I'll take the Diglett and teach him Cut. And I do think Manaphy is the least useful in this gym, so we'll put him there. Uh, a saying something. Oh, right, I remember. So, I don't understand why they made it in a way where... Oh, he already has cut, or he taught him it. 
um, they made it so like a gym like this, you can't bring your full like normal team if you have one. And I'm a little worried what's gonna happen there. Okay. Something about Cresselia Clauncher. Cedra and Kingdra, level 50? Okay, so I might be telling me that they took away that um, way of evolution with the dragon scale with Cedra. I guess. I, I don't know. That's interesting, that sounds like Pokemon Center. I was gonna get a static mod because, like, pretty much I figured out that um, if they are speaking Spanish, then there's a chance that they will give me a static mod like this. He's asking about mega evolving a Pokemon, so I'm really curious what exactly is gonna no. Okay. Okay, so he wants to know something about Mega Evolution. Oh. Yeah, but like, why wouldn't you let someone go into their into a gym with a full team of Mon? Like, I just don't get that. Don't you want them to succeed in what they're trying to do? Oh my goodness, he ate that. I pulled out wood hammer. Okay, it's a pound sweet. It literally shouldn't be able to do anything. Okay. They're starting to worry me. I am gonna fight all these trainers because it's just gonna be good experience. I don't imagine a Trico having literally anything to fight nine tails. Oh right, I have the mole man. I actually should have switched out for this one. Um Okay. He actually might evolve in this gym just because he's going to get levels. Okay, I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, I will say though, for this next like week basically, uh, be on the lookout for any like new videos that pop up on the channel because um, uh, Long story short, I'm working on a lot of new projects, and ooh, you're fairy as well. I want to confuse you and see what you do. Okay, it's annoying. Um, yeah. But uh, be on the lookout for anything new that may come up on the channel, and please like check that out. I'm too worried about crits. Um, Venusaur will take care of it. It's got a dream eater. That's crazy. Dark type as well, which is a problem for like something like Shinotic, but other than that, it's not really an issue. Kind of just want to crunch and see how much it does. Nice. Semi Sage. Let's go over the Sky Uppercut. Okay, go for the crunch. Nice. Okay, and now we're gonna go back and heal. I'm definitely gonna leave the nine tails though, that's pretty clear to me. Um, so yeah, uh, just next week, be on the lookout for any new videos on the channel, like outside of my standard series. Um, and see if those are, you know, any good, because I'd actually love to know, even though, you know, I'll be the one 
making them, but... Hmm. Either way, I mean, if you go right down the middle, I guess you don't have to fight as many. I have to switch, but it's fine. Because Incineroar has crazy attack power. That's what I'm figuring out. Ooh, that's his arena. Okay, we're good. Like I said, we're getting all the experience. Execute, that's definitely getting crunched. Oh, that's all she had? Oh, there's another one. I didn't see that one. I really have got to remember it. That's annoying. Okay. Alright, we're good. I really gotta remember to put uh, nine tails up front here. Okay. I don't want to take the risk of flare blitz without knowing what it has. Okay. Another bay leaf. Oh shoot, she has five mon. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, how much recoil is this gonna do? It doesn't do recoil? Oh, bro. I don't even care at this point. Take a little bit of health. Oh, this actually reminds me, so I remember on my first or like second episode I was explaining how like I had chosen Bulbasaur the first time and how um, he was super terrible because he didn't get any grass type moves. So I found out he literally didn't get a grass type move until like level 20. And that was like as an Ivysaur and it was completely ridiculous. He had like Tail Whip for the longest time because he just didn't learn anything. Like, he never learned Leech Seed, he never learned the Powder moves. It was just ridiculous why he wasn't learning these moves. Like, none of it even made any sense. Why would he not know that? Okay, I want to look at this, because, like, he has Flare Blood. It's like, it's a 120 power move with 100 accuracy and doesn't hurt me because there's something wrong with this game. I might as well just throw him out, like, he's gonna pretty much obliterate everything unless she throws out, like, a Shenotic. Lovely weather, it's so pleasant. I must have dozed off. I am Erica, the leader of the Celadon Gym. I'm a student of art, of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are so big grass types. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. I imagine her being a very pleasant person to deal with. This... Oh dang, I, I raised myself definitely to the right level. She whiz. She leads a level 55. That's how the animation for Blast Burn, isn't it? I think that actually has the same power, so like... Picking Incineroar was a great choice. It's also a physical move. So, no. That's not what that is, is it? That is. It's Arena. Wow. Apparently this gem's just gonna be a pushover gem. I could definitely didn't intend it to be quite this bad, but I also expected, you know, the moves to do what they do in their description, and like, Flare Blitz would hurt me a little bit, so it wouldn't be quite as useful. This is not scary, because it's going to die in one hit. Also not to mention, you get 15 of these things. And it's pretty much gonna one-shot any grass type you see.
and Bile Bloom. And it's not, they're not going to outspeed me either. 57 is her ace. Let's see if this it's one level up and it's a final evolution. Yep. So it'll pretty much one-shot anything. So I don't want to... I'm going to try really hard not to abuse that. I really want that, but his moveset's a little too good to worry about something like that. Mole Man just got such a nice little bit of experience here. You know, I'll give you it. Um, we got Mud Slap. Alright, we're gonna... Boop, 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 boop. I am very strong. I beat her in one hit with every Mon. I do kind of apologize for that very boring gym battle. I thought this would be much more difficult. But, you know, like I said, I expect moves to do what they actually say they do. Okay, um... I got Giga Drain there. Well, actually, I think they changed TMs, even with what the text says. I think I found that out. So, this is a physical move. Let me see what the power is on um, the move I just got. Because I want to make sure, first of all, that actually is Giga Drain. It is, in fact, Giga Drain. And the power is only 75, so energy ball is better anyways. I don't know. Um, no, I think I'll sit on it. I want to see what else Venusaur learns naturally, to be honest. Da -da. Okay, um, so since we're going to be starting to move on, I'm going to throw out Valentine in front since he hasn't actually gotten to really see much gameplay. Uh, I have to remember actually where to go next. Because I know I'm supposed to get like a, um, like some kind of drink. Like I think it's like an iced tea from someone. I think it's like an old lady or something. But, uh... I have no idea where that person is. So this will be fun trying to find them. Maybe I should do this differently. Hmm. Like I don't necessarily like want to look this up because I feel like that's kind of a cop out. Unless I already have it. Okay, we're in key items. No, it doesn't appear we have it yet. Um. Oh. I don't think there's... Is there... No, there's normally a route over here. I do need Cut again, though, and I don't have the Poke Flute yet, so I'm gonna go grab Cut real quick and see if, uh, well, I think it, I think you get Fly over there if I remember right. Oop. I would really love to just, like, have Cut on my team at all times, like the, how, how they've done in later games, which is probably one of the best decisions they've ever made. I'm gonna try to avoid the encounter at the moment. Um, who do we have leading? Valentine and Felix. I'm gonna make it Valentine and Venusaur here. So you guys get to see like all of the new mon that I did end up racing. Is this not a gym battle? Or a double battle? I forgot to timestamp the gym badge. Okay, I just did it, so it should be showing up on the layout now. Okay, it is. And they're level 60. And these are both scary mon for the two mon that I sent out. So we might be uh, doing some hard swaps here. I feel like Ninetales is a decent swap. Um. My controller is being very weird at the moment. Can 
gonna try to not worry about it. Okay, I wanna see what they do now. Okay, Galate helping hands. Let's go out of war to do what? Oh my goodness. Uh I think every I think this is super effective. I'm pretty sure this is also super effective. Okay, so we outspeed the Guard of War, so that's nice. I'm pretty sure, though, the Felix won't. Okay, it is super effective, that's right. Oh, man, I think it's aiming for both my Mon. That did not do as much as I thought it would. So we're gonna have to double into it again in order to actually kill it. You know, I realized I probably could have just thunderwaved it and then Hex would have done more this next turn. Okay, that's fine. It helping hand hypnosis, so that's interesting. Please kill. Thank you. Okay. Um Okay, Felix took the future site. So the first one was aimed at Venusaur. I don't have hyper potions. No, I have Moo Moo milks. That's right. That's right. They didn't sell hyper potions yet for some reason. Well, I'm glad he didn't hit Nine Tails with that. That actually probably would have killed Nine Tails with both attacks hitting. Oh, 100%. Actually, need to get Nine Tails out of here. Okay, my controller is super messed up, but I'm gonna try to play through the rest of this. Uh, this is my best chance, because like, Discharge will hit Venusaur and I don't really want to deal with that. Okay, that's resisted, it's fine. And he's also gonna lower... Interesting, so Close Combat is another 120 power that doesn't have its side effect. That's good to know for any like fighting types I get in the future. Cause I actually have a Chimchar and it will learn um, the move I was just talking about, close combat, by level up, so like that's actually pretty sweet for him. Okay, so he did beat them. That's all I really cared about knowing. Can I just like slip? be nice. Do I even have a Mon who I want to teach fly to? I don't have a Mon that can really learn fly, for that matter. Oh, that's Cycling Road. You know, I'm about to just look up um, where to get that drink, because like I really can't remember. I thought it was here. Um... No, no. I'm about... The episode's, like, getting there. I think we're just gonna go... I have a bike, right? Yes, I have a bike. So, I think we're just gonna go down Cycling Road and go ahead to Fuchsia. Like, no matter what, um... I was gonna probably do it anyways at some point. <laughs> to get some grinding in, so it's fine. I really feel like I should like look around the city. That so much looks like a place you should go into. Oh, right, I can't go on Cycling Road. I don't really want to call this a short episode. Wait. Wait, this nice old lady in the mansion gave me some tea. Okay, can I like go around the back of it then? Uh, 
I don't remember this. So they're blocking the way. Okay. So, let me think about this. I know that you have to do the Sylph Co. But you can't do that until you get the T. And that's like the only, like... Because he literally says Mansion, too. I feel like I'd rather like look this up and feel kind of dumb than like just not do anything the last few minutes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just look this up. Um, oh man. Okay. Hey, what's up? I'm just gonna mute that. And I'm gonna kind of speed through it. Okay, so it, it's that building like right where those Team Rocket grunts are standing. Okay, so it's not like just me. So, like, in most games, apparently, like, that's not even a thing for them to be standing there. So, like, she's right there. That's the lady I need to talk to. So, like, can I... No, he's the guy I got the tie rogue from. I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm, like, missing? Wait, don't they have, like... Yeah, that's it. They have a base here. Dang it. I definitely... I definitely fudged on that. Like, I... I donked up hard. I'm sorry. Like, it... Ah. <sighs> Like, all I had to do was just, like, think about the game, and, like, I pretty much figured it out at that point. Um... I'll give- we'll give you a little bit more content here. Like, we'll go through a little bit of it here, but, um, this is definitely gonna be a mostly, like, next episode kind of place. Cause, like... We're almost at 30 minutes now. There's literally no way I'm gonna finish everything right now. I did not do as much as I wanted it to. That not having drawback is insane. It's fine, you're not doing anything to me. Oh, what's this? Nice. Once again, this is just another, like, grinding opportunity for me. Like, I know it... It's not the smartest plan right now, but... Ooh. But I still think it's a necessary one. That's a matcha. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not confident I can live also a dynamic punch. It's actually I might just have to like switch out right now. No, he's way too weak. Just 
man if you have good defenses? No, Ampharos does. Oh, nice, you missed too. I'm still gonna go for it. Please hit. Thank you, Felix. Okay, I know we're kind of going all over the place, but I'm going to go out, and I'm going to heal, and I just remembered that we have an encounter that we can get over on the left side. So we're going to do that instead of doing this at the moment. Like, I really should have done that instead. And I need Mole Man Mole. I'm doing great. I'm doing great, I promise. I promise. Sorry, I'm just very tired, and I think I'm just, like, honestly, I think the correct word is for it is just kind of cranky. Maybe a little hangry. Um, I literally already forgot what route this was. Nope, that's not what I needed. It is route 16. And let me put Felix out front, paralyze it. And a rough foot. I like rough foot. Paralyze him. And great ball. There we go. Okay, so as I think for name, we're gonna go ahead and outro this. So, um, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, enjoyed me just fumbling around for the last like five minutes, uh, consider leaving a like. Don't have to, but you can at least consider it. And, uh, remember, we switched our schedule to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm not used to that, so it sounds weird in my mouth. Um, and be on the lookout for anything new that might come out in the next, like, week or so. So, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!